ten ago. Five. Get ready. Go. Pigeon d'or is a work that consists of a series of interventions on different scales in pursuit of making a pigeon defecate soap. The first intervention is on the micro scale. With the help of biochemist James Chappell, I've used synthetic biology to design and create a bacteria that can modify the metabolism of pigeons. To achieve this, we have created a new biobrick, or standard biological part, that, when added to the genetic information of the bacteria, creates lipase, an enzyme that digests grease. We have also used a biobrick that lowers the pH. The result is a biological device that produces a kind of window soap. We have built this device in the bacteria Lactobacillus, which is a bacteria that naturally occurs in the digestive tract. So when feeding this bacteria to a pigeon, it should produce and defecate biological soap. The biobrick we have created is freely accessible from the standard registry of biological parts. However, one can never consider the bacteria in itself. Like the Lactobacillus bacteria is the chassis for the synthetic genetic information, so is the pigeon the carrier of the synthetic bacteria. And beyond the bacteria in the pigeon, we should consider the pigeon in the city. And we should consider the city as a vast and incredible complex metabolism in which we, the human species are but the tiniest of fractions, tiny and yet intrinsically linked into an organic embroidery beyond our understanding. And it is within this complex fabric that any future biotechnologies will end up. Mind you, ain't nothing else to fucking be in, is it? And what can you say? Where's the rest of the crap? Come on! Come on in! Come on! You won't do this to me in a week, I'm telling you. You'll be so fucking hungry, you wish you was dead. Come on! Come on in! Come on! Come on in, good boy. Come on. In you go. I don't think that was a very good idea, Kate. What? Being in there, the way looks in them. Come on, come on in. Come on in. Four minutes, waste it. Therefore, these microscopic interventions are interwoven with interventions on the macro scale, as documented in this very film. Pigeon fanciers are a dying breed of mostly middle-aged men that keep up to hundreds of pigeons in order to raise them. The tacit knowledge and rituals they master might by many not be considered science, but it does often remind me of the DIY aesthetics that new biotechnologies might bring. 
the interactions and knowledge transfers, both on the microscopic and macroscopic scale, have inspired a series of speculative objects. The first artifact is an interface between pigeons and a parked automobile, allowing the produced soap to land on the windscreen. The second artifact is a contraption that allows these pigeons to become part of your house, part of the architecture. This pigeon house is attached to your windowsill as an interface between the inside and the outside, the urban. It allows you to feed pigeons, to separate them and to select them and direct them through different exits to facilitate bespoke urban disinfection. Currently, European regulations make it impossible to take our created bacteria out of the lab and test it on pigeons. However, by adding the biobrick to the standard registry of biological parts, anyone can access the design and create the bacteria. In a synthetic biology future, this would be as easy as playing with Lego. I like to believe that as such, the organism has somehow been released into the world. And more importantly, I like to believe that the work adds a much needed aesthetic and conceptual diversity to the toolbox that will soon be used to build artificial life. Beyond these legal restrictions, political, ethical and ideological considerations are in play too. It is the work's aim to approach this grey zone and play with it. And in that sense too, the pigeon proves a powerful messenger. Indeed, feral pigeons present themselves as the ideal platform and interface for urban biotechnologies. On the one hand, they are by many seen as venom or flying rats. On the other hand, one could argue they are actually already a product of biotechnology. Over generations, they have been designed and bred to come home quicker, to look pretty, to deliver posts, to spy, to tumble or race. Perhaps pigeons as we know them have always been an artificial life form. Come on. Come here. Come. Come on. Come on. It's got a ring. It's got rings. Come on. Is that one of yours? Yeah, yeah it's mine, yeah. Come on. Come on. In you go. In you go. Come on. Come, Come on. on, let's have you. Come on. Okay. Food in there. Food in there. Come on. Come on. Come on, in you go. Good girl, come on in. Let's go.